The manhunt is on for the gang that invaded a gun shop and took off with a terrifying cache of weaponry. We asked former NYPD Detective Sergeant Joe Jackalone to analyze the video. You think these suspects were in the store before and plotted this all out? Absolutely. I mean, you don't pull off a, a stunt like this without, you know, doing some operational surveillance on this. You can see a pickup truck being backed up outside. The time, 4.30 in the morning. The place, Carter's Country Guns and Ammo in Houston. Suddenly, the glass doors are smashed. Then a chain is looped around the security gates. The driver guns it, and boom, the gates are ripped right off their hinges. The raiders pour into the store. Here's the view from another surveillance camera inside. There are at least 10 of them. Their faces masked and covered with hoodies. One thug leaps over the counter and grabs an assault rifle off the racks. Check out this guy. He's grabbing an arsenal. Look how methodical they are. A display case is smashed with a hammer. Then he moves on to the next display case as other thieves grab the weapons. Everybody has a role. Everybody has been trained to do one thing. I mean, you can see how this guy is just coming down. He's smashing everything as he's going all the way down. And when he gets to the end of it, you can see he starts barking out orders. This guy flees with an armful of rifles, and so does this guy. This raider loses his balance as he goes back for more. And he's in such a hurry, he drops a rifle. At least 50 weapons in total were taken. It was all over in just two minutes. Cops fear the stolen firearms are heading straight to the streets. There are clues that may help detectives track down the hoodlums. Look at those distinctive sneakers and those logos on the sweatshirts. Not only that, but footwear impression stuff that we can use. Maybe we can get you know some of the footprints off of the, off the floor here and be able to put it in databases. We have that capability to do so now. Cops have made three arrests in the raid so far. Hopefully, more are coming.